Hey y'all, it's your girl Nadia. And it's me, Coach T. And we are Two Average People. Yes, we are. We're back with you today, doing what we love, talking about love and relationships. Mm -hmm. um, please check out all of our other videos that we have on our YouTube page, Two Average People, spelled mm -hmm. correctly. Yeah. Because um, we just, we have some great information there for you guys. We just um, want to share with you our journey. If you haven't checked out our la last podcast, we talked about women and sex. Mm -hmm. Now today we're going to talk about men and sex. Dun dun dun. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very. This is it's it's so interesting because, like I've said before, you know we process sex very differently. Mm -hmm. So, babe, I want to ask you some questions. All right, let's go. Right. So right. I need to understand, and okay. I'm sure a lot of y'all other women need to understand it, right? <laughs> okay. Is it true that men need sex, or you just really like it, so you want it all the time? it's funny because in my mind I'm like of course we need it like yes yes from the moment it biologically clicks on that oh y'all kind of beautiful I like what hey what's going on hey how you doing from the moment that happens yes now it doesn't mean that that's what we should be doing but it does mean that like that push is there that oomph is there that want is there and at the point when we actually do have sex oh yeah now it's definitely there now you didn't turned on the, the, the spigot the water's coming out and there's no way to stop it <laughs> can't go backwards okay 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 all jokes aside all jokes aside seriously from a health component we do definitely still need it okay tell um, me more so i was reading a, an article the other day i believe it was in men's health don't quote me on that I'll put a link to where I found it in the description down below. What it said was, and I think I made some notes on it. Let me make sure I, I get it right. It says, ejaculation helps your heart increase blood flow, helps uh, maintain stable blood pressure, and thus reducing the chances of cardiovascular diseases. And it goes on to say that those men who have sex three times a week are, from a health perspective, from a literal physical health perspective, better off than those who either have sex once a month or abstain completely. So literally from a health per perspective, we absolutely need that release. When you're talking about mental health and just the relaxation component, the release of good hormones, all the way through protecting your heart. And um, yeah, so my, my short answer is hell yeah. Need See, that. and I, I hear you. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I hear what you have supportive documentation. Mm -hmm. But what it sounds like is sexercise, right? So usually when you have sex, the heart rate goes up. You know, you work out your body a little bit. I want you to say sexercise again. Sexercise. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back. I'm back. See, this is why I'm back. We can't. <laughs> back. So, if you're having sex exercise mm -hmm. and your heart rate's up and you're actually doing what you would do in the gym, of course it's going to lead to better health outcomes, no? I think so too. But so, when you say need, I would assume that you could say something to the effect, just based on what you said, you could say something to the effect of men need sex like they need the gym. Yeah, but okay, so you could just go to the gym and get the same result. No, you can go to the gym and get the same result. I can't do any such thing. It's two different things for me. It just leads to the same results. You feel me? It's two different things that lead to the same result. It's two different roads. They I, coalesce in the same place. You yeah, know? yes, y'all. Oh, I'm teasing him. I, no, I'm teasing him because he really, <laughs> men really, really do need sex. I'm just, but I wanted to make sure that we share what we've talked about when it comes to that and we've talked about this so. and i want to say this too the reason why a lot of women will get a not so nice result when they're dealing with certain men and I, when i say that i'm not talking about excessive stuff we're not we're leaving that for another podcast a very high percentage of men have either not had sex in the last year or or Oof. are completely abstinent and it's yeah. not necessarily that they're... Are these they're, married men or men in relationships? A lot of them are both. 
and either married or single or whatever. But that's where you I'm get the so term. I'm so sorry, y'all. That's where you get the term incels from, involuntary celibates. It's because that those are the men that are basically invisible to a woman's viewpoint. Mm. Because if a woman is looking for a man, she's looking for a particular kind of man. She's looking for a type of man who's going to make her feel something, make her, you know. She's not just looking for a man. Mm -hmm. Conversely, most men would just settle for a woman. Mm. But the problem is, most women that men want don't want them back. Mm. Now, okay. that's not that's not, I'm not talking about fault or anything, but when you when you when you when you boil when you down that down. pot, mm -hmm. that leaves a lot of men tail to the breeze. You feel me? Okay, so let me let me ask you this. Why do men care about sex so much? Like, there's the need, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But why do you guys care about it so much? And now, I'm not asking that question because I think it's not important. So let me preface this by saying, I'm not saying that sex is not important. I just really want to hear his perspective when it comes to why they care, as men care about it so much. Well, I think it's because that's kind of the way we're built. We come in the door with millions of sperm cells, more than that. You understand what I'm saying? So from a perspective of, you know, trying to actually make a baby, we wouldn't clearly need millions to make that happen if that was truly the case. So what it leads most, you know, evolutionary scientists to believe, I like to default to science because I, Anything else is just me talking about my opinion, which is still valid, but science allows us to have, be able to have like a baseline to work from. So I like to work from that baseline. And the way science puts it is, is it says that this is a reproductive strategy. So the truth is we're built to spread our seed. We're mm. built to keep that process going. And okay. women are built to be selective. That's, the, that's kind of the deal. Um, so because it's so much a part of what we are, no matter who we are, we can't get past that part because it is what we are. And see, you say that and what I hear naturally as a woman is, so you need to have sex with multiple people. No, it's not a need. But remember... In order to get rid of these millions of sperm <laughs> that are there. Well, the truth is, evolutionarily speaking... That's what we would do if there were no... Uh, social norms. Right. It's the right. social norms that keep us in check. And social norms that I appreciate. And are important. And are important. And are important. So I'm not trying to knock or degrade them in the slightest. But I am saying that it's the social norms that you make you feel that way. Because nothing in my biology or history as a, as a thing on this planet says that that makes sense. Right. right. That's why when you say that to me, I go, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> But if we were right. to break up, I I probably would find the first thing I could smash and smash it. And it has nothing to do with who she is or what she's... It has no, it have nothing to do with her at all. How many STDs she has. Well, okay, you know? okay. That, that's just... that Now, <laughs> slow down now. Hey, now. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I had to throw that in there. I didn't say all of that. Yes. Now. You know, I, I can imagine that sex you know, especially when you're in a committed relationship, really helps you, and I, I can attest to this too, really helps you feel connected. Yeah. Like, a lot of time you've told me that it makes you feel appreciated. Yes. But, so can you, like, a, talk about that a little more? This is interesting. So, I'm, ladies, I'm going to put you up on game. She already knows because I don't lie to her about what it is I am, and I don't lie to her about who it is I am. Okay? So I'm going to put you all up on game. You ready? Like to hear it, hear it go. A lot of women, in my opinion, are attracted to men that make them physically feel something, whether that's a, that's, that, that's a flutter in the chest or whatever the case may be, right? But they do that because, and this is my hypothesis, they do that because emotionally there needs to be some sort of something there. Mm -hmm. Any sort of something, but it needs to be something substantial she can, she can hold on to. Mm -hmm. Men require no such barrier to entry. But in relationships, that's the place we need to get to, to be able to open ourselves up. The reason I feel appreciated when we have sex is be, especially when we have sex that I don't have to force. Mm. 
Okay. Especially the sex, I don't have to force. Okay. Here, it's starting, it's happening. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> That's the greatest thing ever in life for a man. But the reason is, I is because- I always catch him off guard, y'all. It's true. Uh, uh, but the reason is, is because we get past that physical barrier to entry. Mm. We get past that. I've even heard of men who will set themselves up on dates and then have sex with somebody else before the date so they can go into the date with a clear head. Really? Yes. Now, I am not advocating one way or the other, but this is not about advocation. This is this is about just learning how some men operate mm. and, you know, examining what that looks like in real life. So, for me, I feel appreciated because it allows me to be able to say, wow, I'm with someone who really wants me for me. She showed me that by having sex with me. And again, that sex wasn't just up sex, it was sex. So hell yeah, I feel real appreciated. Sex is so important in our relationship. It's not the only important thing, it's not the only but important. it's a very important thing because that is the one thing that he can get from me. Yes. Right? So he does, He likes me when I cook for him, but he doesn't need me to cook and clean mm. and do all those things. He could hire somebody else to do that, mm -hmm. right? But this, if if you want, if you are telling me that you want me to be con committed to only you, that's the one thing I can only I can get from you. I can only get it from you. I can only get it from you. I can get anything else that you you know. Obviously, there's respect and all the other yeah, things. But yeah. if we're talking about the actual Let's get physical down to brass things, tacks here. when he said that to me, it was like huh that makes sense i've never really put it that way but that makes sense and so it really makes me help me put into perspective this need and this importance of sex for you yeah you know as a man it's very important and i understand that appreciation piece yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of men especially young men don't understand that part of it and so when they don't have sex they don't have that language or that thought process to go oh gotcha uh, okay I know what's happening here. I could just chill out because I know it's me. My bad. They don't have that. They don't yeah. have the life experience. They don't have the language. They don't have the thought. So it's important that even as men that we understand how we work and, you know, yeah. how we can communicate that to our partners. Yeah. I'm going to, I want to ask you another question, but Let's you go. know, one of the other parts, and this was actually one of those very, uh, hard conversations that we had years hard ago. Conversation. Hard conversation. It was a hard conversation. It was a hard conversation. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one time we were kind of in this drought and he looked at me and he said do you know how I feel appreciated and I'm you know a young wife like uh yeah uh, you, you know you like when I fold your clothes and you cook for you and all this okay but that's when he really broke it down to me the appreciation that comes with sex now again nothing is so cut and dry right so there's other things that i do that make him feel appreciated Absolutely. but when we when we talk about his his true appreciation as a man it is sex it is and i had to fight the urge to push against that and understand uh, it as a woman fight because the urge to push against what it. how i feel appreciated appreciated is very different on a base level from man to woman but also from a Nadia to Zavari level right there's a big difference so we I that that those two um conversations were very profound in helping me understand his need as a man oh. his need for sex as a man I didn't do you remember those that. conversations I remember the conversations yeah. but I didn't realize they had such an impact on yeah me. yeah it really did oh okay and so I wanted to ask you um, do you see sex and intimacy differently? And if, if so, how important is intimacy in a relationship? Sex and intimacy to me as a man are completely different things that interface with one another. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love how you put that. Please say yeah, more. Yeah, they're, they're two completely different things that interface with one okay. another. So as a man and, and i've and i've said this before and i hope this isn't embarrassing and i can totally edit this out if it is but i told her straight up and down as just as just on a man level i can love you dearly and still with others because in my mind those two things aren't the same thing because y'all 
<laughs> that was one of the hardest things to accept. Yeah. Because my mind does not work that I get way. that. I get that. And there's a level of respect there because the argument is, well, you don't really love her if you can do that. Well, the problem with that thought process is it has everything to do with social norms and nothing to do with the How the he, thing right. that I am. I right. am a thing and this thing can do that. Yes. And yes, he can yes, actually That thing can actually do that. Yes. And have sex with somebody yes, else. Yes. Absolutely. Now, that doesn't mean that if that boundary is established and I go do that that I am actively showing her that I love. That's two different things. Yes. Yeah. But therein lies the difference to me between sex and intimacy. Sex is literally an act. It's just a thing. The thing you do. It's just a thing. Okay. Sex without intimacy is hollow. That's why it's just a thing in most men's minds. So what I hear you saying is that you need to have intimate sex with your spouse. Yes, absolutely. It's most... You don't want to just have sex. I don't want to, like, Tabari. Just, I'm not interested in just sex. Like, that, mm. that is less... It's less appealing. appealing than great sex with the one I actually am intimate with. I see. Do you feel that that is crucial the longer you've been married? Yes. Okay, I think so. Yes, yeah. because there's a lot of things that men go through that women just don't understand. In the same way, there's a lot of things that women go through that men just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like men, we just don't understand periods. Let me just, let me help you all. Let me help you all out. Like we get how it works. We understand how it. Biologically. We understand biologically. But I think that's how women understand sex about men. They understand it biologically. They know, okay, we can accept that you always need it. But that's all it is, right? No. In the same way that a period isn't just a period. It's vital. Not just sex. It's and I not think just sex. people need to sex, understand right. that. Because sex is. Sex is sex. Sex is but sex. Actually Especially to a man's sex. mind. Sex is sex. It's not a... Right. That's also yeah. why it hurts more when, if a woman cheats on a man. Mm -hmm. For a man. Because he understands for him what it is. But he also understands for you. It ain't that way. So if you did go down that road, it's because he was lacking. Mm -hmm. If he was lacking, he has no one to blame but himself. Right. No one to blame but himself. That's the way he sees it. Right. And so that's why it's like, <gasps> um, you cheat on a woman, she's going to be hurt because of a breach of trust and all this other stuff. And everything. But there is a signal when a woman cheats on a man that he, that he gets because of himself that says, and that's why you weren't good enough anyway. Ew. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. And, and we gotta and, keep, we and, keeping and, it real with y'all. And, 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 and he knows it, it because he knows for himself that sex can just be flighty. It can be just a thing. He's not really worried about that part, but he knows as a woman, as a thing you are, that's not really how you operate. So if I've made you operate outside of yourself, you, you've been hurting for something for so long that I haven't provided that I have no one to blame but me for that. Mm -hmm. And that is an ego kick to the teeth. You hear me? That is an ego kick to the teeth. So, not saying any of this is right, as in correct, as in you should believe it, but I'm saying that from a man's perspective, that's how we see it. Yeah. I got, okay, so I have one more question for okay, you. Okay, here we go. What would you tell a couple who came to you and who didn't have an ideal sex life, but they wanted to make it better? I would say this. First, start out by not having sex believe it or not really yes okay there's a reason though i didn't expect you to say that i know i know i know <laughs> i know but there, there's a reason for that and that is if you're talking about a couple who's trying to base their relationship on more than just sex culminate everything else you're going to build with sex don't start it because of sex because there's a lot of okay there's a lot of people in relationships saying. who have great sex and terrible everything else <laughs> terrible everything else but i guess you can say the opposite but you there's can say a lot the of opposite say you know everything else is great but you know and, and this advice doesn't go for every single body but this is what i would say and, and, and given a, 
a healthy sex drive, just not an actual sex act happening on both parties, I would say go have fun with each other. Take the pressure yeah. off is the point. Great so advice, just, baby. You are not having sex, not necessarily because you're just trying to skip having sex, but you're trying to just take the pressure off. Right. Sometimes when right. it's been too long and even though I'm really hard up and I'm like, we are not going to have sex today. So what do you want to do? Right. So Because what we do is we just take the pressure off. Right. If it happens, then it happens. Right. But taking the pressure off gives you a chance to understand yourself a little bit better in that moment. <sighs> Usa a little bit. Mm -hmm. And think of some other things that you can do instead of just focusing on yourself to make the other person happy. Mm. If sex is a problem, take it off the table, deal with the problem, and put it back on the table. Because that's the best way to make your counterpart feel more comfortable. I love that. That's beautiful, babe. Great advice. He's wise, y'all. Very gotcha. wise. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'm... Thank you for listening, babe. Thank you for sharing Absolutely. all of that information, that you know perspective. What I, you, you know what else I want to share? What's up? That you can also go find ah, more episodes yeah. of our of our podcast right here in this card. You can find us all uh, uh, on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok uh, at Two Average People. And make sure that you like and uh, like the content. Ring the bell. Make sure you 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 know you tap in with us. We will catch you next time. Remember, we're better. Together. Together.